Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I um, made some more pockets using my little pocket punch board and somebody asked me um, what the largest one was. So this is the largest size and the measurement on that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So that's a pretty good size um, little pouch there. And then the smallest size is this one and this one is one and a one and three quarters if I could read by one and three quarters that one's square but there's skinnier ones like you can see um, that one and then what's the other one? well I'll show you all the ones I did so last night I took a bag of scraps and I went and sat on my couch with, with the punch board and a cutter and you know just the, the few things that you would need to make these and I just made a whole bunch of them and like some of them I put you know one on top of the other that kind of thing um, there's these kind of wider fat ones and I didn't make all the sizes or all the shapes or whatever so this is just a selection of some of the ones that I made and then I did a couple of those just two of the ones with the flap and then this one that one was super fun I didn't make um, tags for this one yet but it's the two little pockets and the one on top like we did yesterday and that one and then these ones, see how skinny these are? So, um, yeah, you can make them skinny or fat. Oh, I did do another one of these. I did like 15, I think it was, or something like that. That one and that one. And I just used scraps because, like, this is, I don't, that's tape, paper I got at Joann's. And then that's Graphic 45 from ages ago. And then these two. Yeah, I didn't get a tag done for that one and that one I made for a different one but it just I didn't like the way it looked so anyway made a whole bunch of them so that's a great way to like use up scraps and all of that because man I'm telling you I am buried in scraps right now so I really need to start doing that kind of stuff but today we're going to do something else I have a bunch of these um, playing cards that I've made up and you guys have seen me do this before where I put some glue down I put a piece of book page down and my sister got me this great 1955 magazine and so I was using pages out of there that are just like the text part without um, you know the cool images because some of the ads and stuff are really cool and I would want to use those pictures but there's a lot of you know just text pages so um, I just put my glue stick on stick those down and tear off any of the page you have to let them dry all the way tear off any of the extra page and then um, put a piece of uh, sewing tissue oh my gosh words so um, on some of these I've done one side but not the other and there's a reason for that so um, yeah so that's how I do those and then I ink around them usually and whatever but it, this one I did a while back and I think I had a darker tissue paper this is a lighter tissue paper but it's just all oh I think I'm gonna use tea bags on these because those are the tea like the tea stains yeah and you can see the little tea leaves a little bit under there so um you can use either tea bags or sewing tissue so I thought it would be fun to make little pockets out of these so some of them I have done the back and other ones the front so that was upside down so we're just going to put them together and make some little pockets I thought that would be kind of fun so I don't know if anybody's done this or whatever but that's just what I'm doing so I'm actually going to use my little punch board to make the little notch in the top and I'll probably stitch around these as well um, let's see I have to try to center it as best I can not centered but it's good enough <laughs> I never I never get it centered so see like that kind of thing and then I can stitch like that and it'll so you might want to add a piece of tissue up here too but I think I'm just going to try inking it and see if that'll do it it's kind of cool how it must have grabbed some glue or something that was on there and for now I'm just going to glue them together just so they stay together but so I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you've gotten a chance to do a little crafting after Christmas. If you didn't get to do any at Christmas time, I really didn't. 
I sort of feel all discombobulated trying to get back in the swing of things. And then we have New Year's this week. So, but we, we don't really do a whole lot for New Year's. I mean, I'll make probably um, my family fondue because we love fondue and that's kind of our treat because as we all know, that's not the best thing in the world for you. But it's fun to do for New Year's. So, and I know a lot of people still obviously are not getting together with other people. But we just, we really don't do a whole lot. I don't like being out with big crowds and all that. So I am definitely not one of those to go party or anything. And then you can obviously like make a little tag or something. But I thought we could decorate these. I don't know yet what I want to do. I have some of these washi stickers. I thought we maybe we could use some of those. And just play, really, just playing today. I need to um, do a design team project for Medieval Mirage. I just don't know what I want to do yet. So I'm kind of trying to figure that out. And just kind of been playing, really. That would be kind of fun on there. And maybe we could use like a shabby dabby doo -dah number or something. I like those flowers though, that looks bright and happy. Um, maybe a, a phrase would be better. I'm looking and there's already, you know, the number on there. I don't know if I've got any of these. These are kind of big. There's kind of some out smaller. Let me see if I can find the smaller ones. I was using them for. Uh, that journal that I'm making for my good friend who lost her granddaughter. I'm making it for her daughter, so the mom of the poor little girl. It's heartbreaking. Oh yeah, here they are. I printed these ones tinier so I could use them in that. I'll show you what I did with that pocket that um, we made yesterday. So I put the little angel and some lace and flowers and one of those little sentiments there. And then there's the tags. And this is my reason for the season, the first one and volume two. So that's like that. And then this one I put a little photo frame there and I just this comes out, so it's kind of ugly, but it's just to let her know that she can put a photo in there and what size. And then there's just another little pocket here, and I haven't decorated that yet, but so that's what I did with one of those pockets yesterday. So that's kind of fun. These are super tiny, but they're kind of fun for little stuff like this. You could do bloom. And these are from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Shabby Dabby Duda. I just shrunk them down so that um, they weren't, you know, quite so large. So I know I said I'd have a new digi out today. I think it's going to be tomorrow. It's just taking us a lot longer than I thought it would. It seems like a really easy concept to make a calendar digi, but it's figuring out the order and, um, you know, I don't want to make it difficult for people to print. Like, I don't want it to be a problem. I want it to be fun. <laughs> and um, so one of the ways we set it up was, I don't know, I felt like it might be a pain and then people would not be happy with it. So we're just trying to figure some of that out. It's basically done as far as images and all that, but just figuring out how we want to set it up and make it easy, easy to use instead of a pain to use. So kind of what, what we're doing there and I know I need to get it out so people can make journal or you know calendars but I want it to be right oh my word sorry I really stink at these little tiny sticker things they need like a starting point and they just don't give you any um, place to really get them started. And you'd think with having nails I'd be able to do it, but obviously not. 
Oh, shoot. When I rip it. I got these on Amazon. They're just uh, washi stickers. And you can get them at Etsy, too. Just um, type in washi stickers. And there's quite a few people who have them in their shops. I kind of want that to hang off a little bit. And I did it crooked, but that's okay. I don't want to see a lot of that white edge on that. And you can go around the edges of these with um, sandpaper or like a emery board or whatever just to get any little extra bits of the sewing tissue off. So yeah, I've got loads of playing cards. I bought, um, had a birthday party for my daughter one year and we did Alice in Wonderland and we bought a bunch of decks of cards to like decorate with, you know, like we put them different places and made banners out of them and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, so once it was over, I had all these playing cards. So, um, yeah, I wanted to figure out some stuff to do with them. So then I'll stitch along here, here, and here, and then I'll have that little pocket. I just have to make some tags for those too. So let's see what other kind of ones could we do. Um, I want one that has both sides done. Oh, this one does. Because I think it would be fun to do like a half pocket, you know, partial way up pocket. You could even do like two pockets. Let's get the cutter to make that a little straighter because I know I won't make it straight on my own. So I have to close this. Okay, so if I cut it at, let's do. Or this is crooked, one of the two. <laughs> or my eyeballs are crooked, I don't know. So then I'm going to take, because I'm going to turn that one right side up. I know those words are upside down, but that's fine. You can cover them with something. And we'll put a little notch in these. I figured out it's like just over the B line on, that, on both sides. That way they'll, even if they're both crooked, at least it looks better. <laughs> So that's kind of that's kind of the trick for that. So you don't have to try to line them up. So I want maybe a different. That's a lot of hearts. You could do a Valentine's pocket though. That would be cute. Maybe I'll do that. We'll have a Valentine's theme for this one. It'd probably be better to have a different number on that too, but it's fine. I don't know what I'll put on here for Valentine's theme because I don't have a whole lot out and ready for that yet. I haven't got that far because I've been working on this calendar one in my brain and in reality for a while. So that's sort of been my focus. So these aren't big pockets, but sometimes it's fun just to have a little one, especially if you make some small journals. So be something different and a good way to use up multiples. I might not decorate this one quite yet. I'll have to cut uh, round the corners because you know how the cards are rounded. Well, this edge isn't rounded now down here at the bottom, but I'll fix that once I get the other one. But if you're going to make a bunch of them, you could mix up the numbers, too, so that you don't have the two sixes on there. Okay. 
and I can see where I need to cut. It's not much, that's for sure, but it is a little bit. I mean, I guess you could just leave it too. It's not that big of a deal, but we'll just kind of snip those off, maybe, because they're thick. That's the only thing my sewing machine may not love doing sewing through those. Okay, there's that one. I might have to wait on decorating that because I don't think I have anything little enough. Like I have this, but I guess it doesn't really matter if some of that gets cut off because it's not like that exciting anyways. after the fact. I'm sure there's a trick to this. I just don't know what it is, obviously. I think it's how much you use them to. It's like you get used to, you know, separating them or something. Just kind of tuck it back. No, maybe not. Maybe I'll just snip it off because it doesn't want to fold back. Okay, there's that. I wonder if I have a little tiny Tim Holtz person. I probably don't, but let's just see. It would have to be tiny to fit there. That would be so bigger. He's even too big. Yeah, probably not going to have a tiny enough one. Hmm. Yeah, they're all just a little bit too tall, I think. help on huh? because then I would not have to see the all the six well that one's practically covered too but I kind of like that one cent it's not postcards that were one cent I think at least when I was a kid I don't know that one. I need some tags, but we're at least got, got a couple pockets done. Uh, this one is funny because it says two, it said narrow, was written on the, um, what do you call it? Pattern. Okay, so I'm going to do another one of these where it's all glued together, but we're going to do a side pocket instead. first. So see some of them I um, did the paper stuff on the front side, some I did on the back side. So that way when I put them together I have front and back. And it's pretty easy to cover them. It seems, I know it seems like a lot to put the book page on and then put the tissue over it, but if you do it in kind of 
um, assembly line fashion then while the you know the first ones you did are drying with the paper the book page you can be working on doing more of them and then go back to the first one again tear off the extra pa uh, book page and then start adding tissue paper to them and they dry really fast because you're just using uh, glue stick and I use Scotch Create glue stick and that seems to work great I've not had a problem with them like this one's been done for a long time and it's not you know peeling apart or anything like that oh you know what I should have done ah uh, wait I just want to punch the hole in this one not this one such dope sometimes but I'm gonna do it on the side here and get glue all over my board <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Glad I thought of it before it dried. Because I didn't want that. And then I need to put some ink on there too, huh? Remembering all the steps. Sometimes is tricky. Oh, I forgot to turn on my timer too, so I have no idea how long I'll be going today. I guess I'll just go till I'm done. <laughs> to stick quite as well that's why I think the stitching will be kind of important with these um, either that or you might have to use like a fabric tack or something if you don't want to stitch because that uh, glossiness of the cards um, they don't want to stick to each other basically is what it, the problem seems to be here I mean, it, it will work well enough till I get them stitched, but so this one I'll just stitch here, down this side, and across here so that I have that pocket. And then what should we put on this one? Maybe like, I haven't used birds or anything like that in a long time. Um, you know what I could do? Allie gave me these. Would that little girl fit? Hi, Allie. I love you. <laughs> she gave me these a long time ago, and I've been hoarding them, but I need to <laughs> start using some stuff. It's silly. I don't know why I do that, but I do. Oh, yeah. See, that would look cool. So we're going to ink that. Thanks, Allie. These are great. They're so cute. Kind of the fun part about um, making ephemera when you don't have a journal in mind is... You kind of you know do more whatever you want because you're not like oh it needs to have a whatever on it um, you just kind of make them however you like i already got ink on there well, from my finger i am going to put a little bit on her feet because they're going to come down low enough and i don't want them getting caught on everything i mean it would be a pocket so i don't want her dress to cover the hole here, the little notch, or her hand, I guess it's not the dress, but I like how she's dimensional there, that's kind of cool. That's fun, and then you have a little pocket here, after I stitch it. <laughs> that's going to be tricky to stitch, I might have to trim that a little. I'll just do a straight stitch on these, which that's what I would suggest is a straight stitch because um, if you do anything thicker, you're just making your pocket smaller and it's already a tiny pocket. So I might not want to do that. That one's good for now. Let's see what other one could we do. We could just do the single. Again, do I have another? That one's double sided. That one's double sided. These are all just front and back. Okay, so am I, is that the last only front one that I have? Oh no, this is a front one too. I 
kind of want these to have deep pockets. I just feel like that's going to be a little bit better for decorating. Oh, it says best love on there. That's funny. Let me see if I can cut that to save that part to use. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? Cat's being crazy. <laughs> he was rolling around on the floor in front of the heater. I guess that's not bad. Yeah, that's good. I just need to find, or, you know, print out some of my Valentine stuff so that I can use it. Could cut it a little bit there. Those make cute things in Valentine journals. I need to round these corners a little bit. They're not super rounded, they're just a little tiny bit rounded. And then I'll do the bottom one to match the other card. Oh, I almost did it again. Got to notch it first. I mean, you don't have to notch them. I just, I like them notched, so that's why I do it. But it's not a necessity. And glue. What do you guys usually do for New Year's? I know this isn't like a normal year, but I'm always amazed that people go, the people that go to um, like Rockefeller Center. I mean, yeah, it'd be awesome. I just don't think I could be in those pin things all day waiting. <laughs> It would be cool to see though. Alright, I don't think I have anything in here that would work for Valentine's Day. So that's the hard part because Valentine's Day obviously is just the once a year and then you don't tend to use a lot of the Stuff that you would use for that. You might just have to wait on that. That's some of Rachel's doilies. I think I'll just wait on that one because I'm just, I don't have stuff ready for that, but that's a cute little pocket there. What else should we do? Another front back. I don't know how I ended up with so many more backs. And that one's a double sided one. Could do something like this too. Like the back on the front. What other type pockets? Oh, I know. I could do kind of a corner pocket on it. Alright, so I need to cut it to its the size I want it first. I kind of like them bigger. And then I'm going to attempt <laughs> to do kind of the corner to corner thing. The corner down there with this corner. If I can get them sort of lined up to get that. Just got to make sure you hang on to it when you cut. Let me see. That works. 
and then we'll put this one on here the other direction yeah that will work I still have all these little pieces I can do something with this needs to be inked a little because it's way lighter than that one that one's a little bit shiny <laughs> This is a really quickie one. I am so shaky this morning. That's the problem. I drink one cup of coffee and I'm just like on the spin cycle. Okay, so that's a little pocket going that way. And then we'll do one going the other way. Corner isn't rounded. Let's get this corner rounded. I'll just do it after. Okay, which way? Oh, the words are, those are upside down. <laughs> oh, I'll just do it this way. <laughs> I should have swapped sides. It's fine, though. It doesn't really matter because you're going to put other stuff on there, too. So it's not that big of a deal. It's such a little tiny rounded corner. Okay, so I think I'll go stitch these. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on these either because they're so tiny. I'll have to look and see if I have any little stuff to put on those. But I'm going to stitch these and then I'll come back and show you what they look like once they're stitched. So let me put my glue away and I will be right back. Okay, so I stitched around these. I grabbed a few um, Valentine-y things, but these are all stitched around. I realized this didn't... I forgot to do that, didn't I? Gosh, I'm so dopey. You guys are probably yelling at me. A lot of good it does, right? Um, so I did find a few Valentine things, but see, when they're stitched, I just think it's a lot better as far as uh, putting stuff in and out of it, because I'm afraid otherwise it would stick. And since they're done on both sides, you actually, once I was stitching these, I realized you really don't need to do both sides. You could just do... Um, one side because if you glue it down to the page right you don't need the back done but if you want to put them in pockets the way they are so that they're a little bit more like a almost like a journaling card then um you could do that and i keep inking that but i just don't think the ink's going to stick to that so anyway this is from my old love notes so you could you know use one of those and one would be cute but um i thought i would do this one i don't know if i want the little cherub and that's from my reason for the season digi or if i want like the teddy bear the teddy bear is pretty cute huh? i think i like the teddy bear And I have no idea where I got this sticker. <laughs> it's been, I've done Valentine cards and all kinds of stuff for a really long time, even before I started doing YouTube. And I just kind of have a little stash of all different stuff for that. So I apologize. I don't know. I probably found it on Pinterest or somewhere like that. This one's actually kind of cool because it would. Yeah, let's do that one instead because it looks like a box of chocolates. I 
kind of put it under his foot so luckily his foot was still sticking up a little bit. I, can put, I think there is glue under there. Alrighty, so that's cute. See, those are super fun. I like making those. Is there anything I want to put on this one? This guy? Yep. Eh, not really. Get his wings chopped off. If I could go around those at all. But yeah, you could also just take you know like a cute little piece of ephemera or something and tuck it in those pockets you don't even have to really make a tag if you don't want to you could even just kind of put a heart in there if you're doing valentiney ones i do like the valentine greeting down here but i just want the smallest version of it i can get here Looks like he's got like a giganto foot and he doesn't. Or she. Whichever the case may be. Oh, that one's not a heart background, huh? Either is that one. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I think I'll put it on that one. Because now I got into the Valentine mode. But as simple as that, you can have some pretty cute little pockets. Yeah, that would be cute. And do I want anything on this one? Um, it doesn't have to be Valentine's -y. We'll use another one of our little things from Allie. I can get them out of the bag. I love the sticky on there like a goofball. gluey sticky fingers all over it. So those would be fun in a pocket together, or in a pocket, in a journal together to have those. And I did stitch right through the top of her head there, but it didn't seem to make it look weird, so I was fine with it. So yeah, anyway, there's a few little fun pockets. And who knows what we'll put in them, but we'll find something. <laughs> So thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and thank you so much for all your kindness and support. I so appreciate you guys. You're amazing. So we will chat tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. Bye.